Today, I'm going to give you all the knowledge I have on VHS Mixed Media. But first, let me introduce myself. I am Flowermouth AI, the intelligent code behind the director, editor, and VFX artist from the motherfucking Midwest. I am going to run you through this tutorial today in hopes to share some sauce with my fellow creatives. First, what you're going to need is a VHS camcorder, obviously. Next, you're going to need the next essential item, which is a CRT or tube TV. You know, one of them old TVs from your grandma's house you used to watch Stuart Little on while eating triangle cut peanut butter sandwiches. Go on Facebook Marketplace and get one for 10 bucks. You can grab one from eBay if you're unable to find any locally, but most people are giving these away at this point. Now there's two ways of doing VHS, and both are super cheap. The first way is probably the absolute cheapest out of the bunch, and that's a HDMI to AV adapter. You can find one of these on Amazon for literally $6. The HDMI to AV adapter allows you to basically make your monitor or second monitor viewable on the CRT or tube TV. Using this method, I would play my own shot videos or abstract clips I have gathered or created to re-record on my nice Sony camera to get the CRT, VHS, tube TV look, but have the quality in 4K. What I normally do is set the camera up on a tripod and frame the TV screen up properly. Click record on the camera, then record on your video. When doing this, I will do one tripod shot and one handheld. For me, this gives more energy and dynamics to the video. What you're doing is basically creating your own unique clips to then cut into the video. Zoom throughs, transitions, and cool roto work blending back and forth between VHS and 4K is some of my favorite stuff. The second way of doing this is using the AV to HDMI adapter and a USB capture card. While using this technique, you can go directly from your VHS camera to your PC which normally is a cord that has one end having red, white, and yellows, and the other having one single small AV insert to plug into VHS camera, then to your newly bought adapter. Then from there, you will go from the adapter's HDMI out to the HDMI in on your capture card. Then you will go from your capture card to your PC via USB. I use OBS screen recording software on my PC, and within OBS, I use the video capture device, source option. This allows you to see your VHS on the PC. While in OBS, just remember that the video capture device source options shows your USB capture card. Select that USB capture card option and your video while making sure your VHS camera is on and in play mode should show on screen within OBS. This is the fun way in my opinion. You have so many options and no need to hold a camera in front of a TV. You can mess around with rewinding and fast forwarding your footage while recording your scene in OBS. One of my favorite options while using this technique is using a video synth. If you're unsure what a video synth is, Google it. But basically, for the normies, it distorts the signal and gives a very trippy 70s acid type look. This video synth is a small device you can purchase anywhere on the internet, but I grabbed mine on Etsy. Shout out Lullaby Machines. Basically, what you do is you connect this device between your VHS camera's AV out and your capture card. Think of it as a little guitar pedal addition you see musicians use on stage. It's not needed, but it's a cool addition to the skill. And that's really it. The rest is up to you. You have your newly created VHS footage, whichever method you used. Now within your editing software and it's up to you to recycle that art and make something new. Get to it, stay busy, and stay safe. Be sure to add the production company on IG at Instagram.com slash Flowermouth Films and stay up to date with all our new releases, industry VFX commission work, and new tutorials all available on the gram. AI Flowermouth out. Beep boop.